So once again, perhaps a chance to move up into the top five, if or the top, yeah, 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 the top five or top ten. If there's something there that we really, really want to get our hands on, Montreal's pick might be the easiest to grab. There might be some others in there that are obtainable. Washington, for instance, um, maybe Tampa even too. Well, that's at that ten spot. Uh, everything else might be a bit too difficult, but it does give us a few options here if there is something that we uh, really want to trade for. So we'll see. Uh, if uh, if that'll work for us. So again, tough tough loss in that Cup Finals, but it was, I mean, missing our our starting goaltender. That was that was exceptionally rough. What can you do in that situation? Zdeno Chara retires in L.A. Apparently, okay. Uh, Kessler retires. Uh, Yoke in it. Yeah, they're gonna have some of the Bacchus, Dubinsky, Dubinsky, Hainsey, Russell retires. Good. Get him off our payroll. I think I think he was expiring anyway, or right, another year from it. Either way, he's off the payroll. Brendan Yip, <laughs> oh, Michael Ailey. All right, yeah, most of these are free agencies. Kind of nothings. And Ryan Miller retires, and that's it really for goaltenders. Popperle, who played two games and had those kind of numbers in two games. That's actually impressive. Zero wins, zero losses. Interesting. So he just like came in and clean up, clean up rolls, but he was good. <laughs> That's so, that, that, like, it's so weird to see that because then you're like, what is going on here? Interesting. All right. Um, that's a lot of coaches retiring. Well, not that many coaches retiring, actually, all things considered. I don't see us up there. Kessler, Chara, and Hainsey are becoming scouts. And, uh, doesn't look like any new coaches from retired players. So let's check out the, uh, do some interviews here. So an elite playmaker. Uh, Lambert. There's a center sniper, which wouldn't be horrible to get our hands on. Savoy, okay, drops, to, there's a top six, for, okay, so never mind, that guy who we thought might be elite, yeah, there's actually really no elites outside that top five, that kind of sucks, I was kind of looking forward to another kind of deep draft, at least in that top, uh, top stuff, but that does not look like it's the case this season, okay, that's interesting. Yeah, so no real center power forward option. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, we know, I don't think Lambert's a power forward by any means, so, yeah. I mean, we can construct it differently. We can grab this Perot guy and, and find the winger power forward, which would be much, much easier. This guy's got one year ETA as well. So we could, we could maybe do that. We'd still have to trade for the two, or maybe there's something else available, but most likely that one. And. Have to snag Perot. But let me do some... I, I don't know what... I can't remember what Lambert is. Like if I'd hold on to anyone... Well, again, the, but the thing about Pugliarvi is he actually got real good. So, anyway, let's see what these guys all are. See what Lambert is. I don't know. I can't remember if he was two... I think he used to be two-way, but then they changed him. Uh, yeah, he's a playmaker. I think it was a two-way like a couple years ago in this NHL game. I can't remember exactly. Anyway. So, he'll be a uh, center playmaker, which, again, wouldn't be too horrible. And it's, I'm, I'm yeah, I'm, it's hard. I mean, if, unless you could find that center power for, I mean, we could always trade for one. We don't necessarily have to move up here. And that, again, might not even be in the cards. But... I guess we'll see. Yeah, I was really kind of hoping this would be another kind of deep top ten. I mean, yeah, but to be fair, this guy was ranked further back, and he actually did. He actually is really looking like he should be that much further back. But, yeah, it drops. They already... That's crazy. Yeah, they already drop into the top sixes right after the top five. It's not as deep as I thought it would be. So, yeah. Um, what I will do, I don't think, again, I don't think there's going to be any of those. 
Yeah, man, having shitty scouts has not been great, but that's all right. I'll interview a couple of these guys, see if we can maybe get lucky finding a low. But not really having my, uh, crossing my fingers or anything. We'll see. Four year ETA, yeah, he's not going to become anything. In fact, I'm not even going to bother. Well, you know what, I will. He's a playmaker. I already only got one more question. But four year ETA generally means... He's going to be top 9 or top 60 if he was a defenseman. But, yeah, so he's probably going to be top 9. I mean, they could be, like, you know, one overall on the outside, which is always possible. And the way this draft class is looking, it doesn't look exceptionally strong. So that could be the case, but I don't think so. If he's a low, I'll take a chance on it because there's no way he'll be. A okay, so he might be just on the outside. All right, let's pin him. Unless he's not a low and the game's lying to me because that did happen to us once. Except it was a high top 6 that it was. What's doing? Um, I can, I'll probably interview a defenseman too. Here, and let's interview this guy. And I think right defense is actually slightly more important for us. Well, I guess it really doesn't matter. We got us. Actually, we do have Bouchard. Okay, three or ETA. That's even better. So this guy could be solid too. Uh, offensive defenseman as well. That's not exactly great because we already have Bouchard, but I don't know. Maybe if Bouchard doesn't pan out the way we want. Maybe this guy does. We'll see, but this is our last interview anyway. If this guy's a low, then yeah, that other guy must be like one overall tick on the outside. We'll see. Uh, he's a medium, but he could be top four. Either way, that's not worth it. So we're definitely going to grab uh, this Fritchie. Uh, winger playmaker. Again, it's not great, but it's at least a low elite. And we'll probably take a blind pick or two on goaltenders. Yeah. That. Uh, nope. He's only going to be a starter. Just think, looking at guys, I might want to pin maybe that guy, but he's around the same area. I'll pin a few goalies here who I might have my eyes on. All right. Anyway, we could always look for goalies too, but just have a couple pinned. I don't. I don't even know if I'll even look at the pins. I might just completely forget about that. So that could have been uh, entirely useless, but. Going through the motions here. New York wins the cup. Presidents went to Vegas. We made it to the cup finals, but got ousted by the Rangers. Art Ross uh, to McKinnon. Hart went to March or so. Norris went to Petrangelo. Lady Ping to March or so. Ugh. Uh, Calder went to Caulfield. I, there's no fucking way that March or so would ever win the Lady Bing. Like, are you kidding me? That guy takes so many shitty penalties. For me, a little whiner out there. Anyway, Calder went to Cole Caulfield. Palmieri with the Con Smythe. Bennington with the, with the Vesna and the Masterton. I forgot about that. Uh, sorry, William M. Jennings. Masterton went to Dumoulin. Uh, Jack Adams to the Sharks coach. Yeah, he made a mountain out of a molehill. Uh, Selkie again to O'Reilly. Ted Lindsay to Marge so Boo. And Maurice Richard to uh, Nathan McKinnon. So there you go. There's some trophies out there. But we smashed Vegas in the playoffs, so who really wins? New York Rangers at the end of the day. But that's not important. What is important here is that we uh, hopefully get this draft right. We'll see. We'll see if anyone in that top five wants to move. No, they don't. Okay, so I probably won't even bother targeting. Yeah, unfortunately, these picks are up for grabs, but there's no real elites there. I was kind of hoping that Montreal would want to give it up, but they don't. In which case, I don't really think I'm going to move for it. Because we're way back here with the 30th. And we only have our own second, too, I'm pretty sure. I can move up for one of these, maybe. But this just might be kind of a throwaway. I don't really think I can move up for any of these things. 
I'll check out some of our values. I'll, I'll do some, let's let's see, are they listed as a full seller or conservative buyer? They're listed as a buyer, actually, and they don't have this pick on the block. That's okay, it'll still be, it, well, it's not on the block, but it'll be relatively easy to obtain. Well, easier than most. So if we get this and get the center sniper, we may not need Pooley RV, but here's the thing. I would rather get rid of Yamamoto. I'd rather get a playmaker and get rid of Yamamoto because Pooley RV is looking like he'll be better. Yamamoto's kind of looking like he's capped out. Now, chemistry-wise, it's great, and then it'll be easier easier to find a power forward. I could throw in Anthanasio, but I was also thinking I might have to do that third line score. And like, here's the thing. If I make if I trade Anthanasio, then I have to commit to trading Manta, which I could probably do for a grinder or so. Then we can continue to build that line. We can go with a third line grinder line, but what the hell else do I trade? The 30th plus Anthanasiu, that doesn't get us close enough. Eh. Not quite, but it's actually closer than I thought it would be. I can't spend too, too much time here. Oh wait, next year we do no we did we kept those first. That's right, because they didn't show up show, shoot up in value, so and we still have those. Hmm. Top six center grind. Yeah, I wanna hold on to him. Numelin. Winger playmaker. Could probably throw this guy into it, the deal. Yeah. Could probably throw him in. If this doesn't go through though, I don't know if I want to give up too much more than this. Probably just isn't there whatsoever. Okay, we could always throw in Shigeru because we're really not going to use that guy. Quite far off still. I don't know, man. Giving up quite a bit here. And at this point, how worth it is it? I don't think even this makes it go through. That's a lot of, a lot of, yeah, no, it's, that's, I, I can't really make this happen, I don't think. It'd have to be like someone other than Anthony CU, and it just doesn't look like it's too worth it. Yeah, especially for, I mean, you could, you could just already, you could be like, okay, throw in Yamamoto now, but I don't want to do that. Yeah, this doesn't have exactly what we're looking for, so I'm not, I'm not going to really go for it, I don't think. I'll just kind of hold our own pick. We can maybe grab a couple guys in the second round. We can go for the low. Yeah, I just don't want to get a top six or anything like that. We can go for this guy. Again, a winger playmaker. It's a tiny bit of value, but it's not really because what the hell we're moving up for it. We could draft him with our own pick if I want to move up for something else here. I could do that, but I honestly might not even want to. I might just grab a goalie or something. I don't even know. Or their own pick, except their own pick's like 60-something, so. There's some other stuff back there. Again, I don't want to move up for that goalie, because he could be absolute crap. Yeah, this is not great. It's not a great draft. I don't really care that I didn't have it well scouted at this point, so I'm just going to skip through the rest of it. We'll, we'll go back and see what those guys are. But I'm not, it's not feeling great. Yeah, he's freaking 76. 100% not worth it to move for any of these guys. Like, not at all. I really thought that second year would be much, much better. I thought I saw a low in here. No, it was a medium elite steal. Okay. That's what it was. Center two-way forward. All right. So I'll probably just go for that. God, honestly, you'd probably be better served fucking just trading this pick. I wonder if I should do that. I might honestly be better served trading this pick. Let's see if Washington wants it. If we start going for that. I mean, absolutely, they'd take it for this. Could I, could I get him to retain? His, no, probably not, but... Let's say we start immediately building that third line grinder line. Even the first for Wilson, we can 100% get something else. 
maybe even a couple seconds. Nope. All right, let's get one second with retention. This probably won't work. All right. Damn, that sucks. Can't even get one of these seconds. Even if I take retention off, I don't think they go for it. It's not the contract's not horrible at the end of the day, especially for third line. Yeah, uh, doesn't look great. Again, the, the, it's not that big a value here for that 30th pick, but I kind of thought I might... I, I can get it. I can probably get it straight up for the pick if I retain. And honestly, value-wise, this is inflated value right now. Essentially, we'd be getting back a player with slightly more value than Tom Wilson. I might still be willing to do this, and I'll pick up, try to pick up a couple threes instead. Because I could maybe get some medium elites. I know we're running out of time here. But let's go for threes from, like... Damn it. Let's go for that three and maybe a two as well, but I don't think that'll, that's happening. They really don't have a two. I'm bummed about that. Maybe a three, four, and another four. Really? They, yeah, they don't want to retain. That's Again, I, as I was saying, it's probably going to be extremely difficult to get them to retain that. Which, again, it's not the biggest of deals. The question is, do I really want to... If I make that move, I'm committing to the third line grinder line. In which case, I'll have to pick up Shaw and free agency, and then I still need to go for Furland. Which, again, that's easy enough to grab. So what I could do is hold the pick. But I'd rather use that value. Honestly, I would really rather use that... Or I could just pick with it, because I still, if I'm doing that, I get, I have to, get, I get, I'm getting rid of uh, Mantha and uh, blah blah blah. What's his name? Shit, Anta to see you. Who have decent chunk of value right here? Or you can hold Anta to see you over Yamamoto. Nah, that's a terrible idea. All right, I'll take his contract, but I want picks. Could I? Was I even able to get one second if I kept in the no, no uh, retention? No, that's right. Okay. Well, again, what's the best thing they're gonna get? Ooh, wrong one. What? I clicked it. You heard the noise too. Really? Okay, and not the greatest of deals, especially for a friggin' first, but again, that what we were able to get with that pick's value is not going to be anywhere near what we got back. It's a pretty fair trade. We didn't make out like bandits or anything. That's for damn sure. But we didn't necessarily have to. Not Backland, it was Furland. Where's Furland at? I thought he was here. Oh god, I can't remember where Furland is. I don't, I don't actually have to trade right here. I could do it in the off season. Yeah, I cannot remember where Furland is. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> um. And I can't player search. I'm pretty sure here at the draft, or can I? I can do fine trade, but that's not going to do jack shit. Yeah, I can't player search. All right. So, probably just draft and, yeah, I'll probably just, oops, what am I doing? That's not Sim. Furlan, Furlan, where did Furlan go? Yeah, I can't remember. Oh well, I'm kind of I'm gonna kill myself trying to think of where the hell the dude went. I'm just gonna sim through it. We'll look back at what some of those guys are. So yeah, that Nilstorp Gore was was an elite goalie, but 49. Low elite playmaker, yeah. So there he was. Uh, that 
defenseman I was looking at was not good. Yeah, this is a shit draft. So pretty decent goaltender right there, but already down to the lows. So I could get a low four. No. Oh, I thought there was another goalie closer to here. Whatever. I'm probably just going to target these goaltenders. Let's go for this dude. Nope. Fringe starter. Up we go. This is, yeah, this is the second year is absolute dog crap after the first couple years at best. This guy might be low elite. I doubt it though. Yeah, I doubt it. Go for this guy because he's maybe a grinder. I'm just kind of going way off the Jesus bottom six. Really? Couldn't even give me a top nine game, huh? All right. This is going to be a pretty shitty draft here. Fuck off. Oh, my goodness. Apparently, I should have drafted one of those dudes who was listed as low. I, should, I could go for this guy, and he probably would be an elite, although he's 19. Whoa. Okay, the ETA. Well, it can go either way. Do I go for him or go for the goalie? Probably... It's a tough call. But with the way those lows popped up, yeah, oh, fucking hell. 69, power forward. Well, there's your winger power forward if you needed one. Holy hell, 69 and 19. Yeah, he's on pace. He's on pace. Even if he turns 20, he's on pace to make that NHL. Pretty amazing. Yeah, already down to the absolute shit shoes. Oh, there's one decent guy there. Starters, backups. Yeah, that Philly guy was a backup. Glad I didn't freaking go for him. I'll go for this guy because, again, we still kind of need a goalie. We're going to just hope to get lucky. And not get lucky with a backup. Okay. Just go for another goalie. Just basically fucking throw everything at the wall. Fringe starter. Good lord. Oh, we have another seven here. Fringe. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah, I don't think we're going to find anything. I'm going to go for this guy most likely because he's got a chance at low elite. So let's do it. Don Wild. Low six. Yeah, not great. And they got a low four. So not a great draft. We did make a trade. I think we got a serviceable player. But now we're committed to that third line grinder line. And honestly, I do think that's what we were missing. <laughs> um, some extra shutdown. I think if we have a third line grinder line, you cannot tell me that McDavid Dreisaitl are not enough in your top six to give you a tremendous point production. I think we only really need two lines of scoring. So I, we're going to commit to that. I'm, that third line uh, grinder situation. Yeah, I'm just going to probably let all those guys go and just redo my scouting team completely, as I was talking about. So now we're actually going to find good scouts. There's going to be A's and stuff. So I'll get, I'll get my part of my, you know crack team of scouts together this season then next season will be even better and then they'll all be trained up by the season after that they'll all have good uh, efficiency in each region alright gets laugh um, I think I'm going to get him back yeah it's not going to cost us much and I, I think with the way he played he might get some stack early. he might actually stay as a second liner I'm going to sign him regardless and I'm going to probably play him as a second liner guard. So we're getting rid of Ennis. We're going to find someone better. Uh, Lekkinen probably don't need. Benson, I liked him. He's always a solid call up. If he's a two way. If, you know, if Lekkinen wants a two way, I'll keep him. He does. Two year, two way. Absolutely. Uh, Juzer Kara, definitely holding on to him. What? I mean, we can afford you, but are you kidding me? Or can't. No, actually, I don't even know if we can afford him. Well, yeah, no, no, actually, yeah, we can, because we're going to trade some cap. What am I talking about? That's an absurd deal for UK, but you're lucky that we're going to have cap space. Kyle Turris, probably not holding on to him anymore. Yeah, especially not like that. Bye-bye. McLeod, yep. Keep him around. Twarinski, yep. All right, that's much better. I don't like that two-year. That's, well... It's actually not bad for what he brings to the table. How much better is he going to get? Well. If I can get him for that, that'll be worth it. Wheel. Again, this is a guy that was like kind of spot filling. I don't think we're having any entry levels. 
Not yet. That'll be next year. We, I'll probably just hold on to everyone because we we're kind of needing some guys. Although I could look for some guys in free agency. Although there's no guarantee I find any. One year for you, though. You're absolute dog crap. <laughs> oh. Yeah, one year for these guys as well. Until we get some uh, guys to replace them. But I'll definitely look for that in free agency. Now's the time where you might see a low elite or two in free agency. Because it's now after that second draft year. So any any created guys, uh, EA generated guys, I should say, who didn't, who were generated after that first year will start appearing. Whoa. Lagason. I might just have to let you go. That's a pretty rough deal you want. That's an incredibly rough deal. To the point of like, what the hell? Oh, he doesn't want an extension. That's that's part of it. Bye bye. Not bothering. Have to keep these guys around as well. Yeah, I could do two years for him. They're good enough. They can carry a line. They're not old yet. Remember Seth Seth Griffith when he was gonna be good? Craziness. Mike Smith probably letting him go. We can get. Any other? Yeah, he's just gonna, probably just going to decline too hard. Well, maybe not. Oh, yeah, we're going to have Skinner. Skinner, Skinner, Skinner. Derpy derp. Skinner back up, and then we're going to get a new AHL something. Maybe AHL backup or something. We'll see. All right, let's advance day here. Got Getzlaff, got McLeod, Archibald. Okay, Kara rejected. I hate you. Twernski rejected. Griffith rejected. A few guys rejecting. Everyone else, though. Love and life. Yeah, it says we only have four million. Don't believe it. We'll have plenty more when we get rid of fucking Mantha and Mantha to see you. <sighs> Just give him what he wants. It's pretty bullcrap, but I'll give him what he wants. Same with Twerinsky now, I guess. Max you out on a two way, won't matter. And that was it. Come on, are you kidding me, dude? Why is User Caribbean so dumb? God. It's gonna make it a little bit tighter than it had to be, but we'll still have the, we'll still be we'll still be fine because uh, we're gonna trade over eight million, and then we pick up Shaw and free agency and trade for Furland, and then we still have our fourth line grinder line, so we'll be all right. There you go. Now, is that everything? Yes, sir. We still need a goalie, but it's not any major goal. Okay, Rask actually dropped a lot. I just noticed that it dropped way further than I thought he would have. Not great. <laughs> not great. It was a pretty hard decline there, Tuka. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Bam, bam. All right. So free agency here. First things first. Hopefully Shaw actually dropped. He usually does. But we're hoping he did drop. Uh, he would be. Yeah, I don't think. I think he has actually listed as a winger first and then a center. Uh, Dustin Brown's. We could also go for Brown. Top six still. I mean, but he's he's going to be expensive as hell. It's not. Doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. I'd rather go for someone who uh, won't be that expensive. Uh oh, did Shaw not drop him? Am I really gonna have to trade for him? I that's is this has really never happened. But of course it'll happen right now. Are you kidding me? Really? Really? Shaw didn't go to free agency. Oh my goodness. I I honestly can't believe it. He literally always goes to free agency, and then of course this time, when we're targeting him, he doesn't doesn't pop up. Um, yeah, that's Dustin Brown. I'm like hoping I missed him in some way, but I don't think I did. Oof. Yep. Pretty sure. That's ah, Zach Smith. I mean, it could be someone, but for third line, I don't know. I'd rather have him be better. 
Yeah, he's actually not bad, but... So now I actually got to trade for Shaw. That sucks. Okay, well, I'll, I'll search him up anyway. <laughs> I was kind of going to do that regardless. That uh, that's, that's hilarious. I've never seen him, like, not drop to free agency. <laughs> but now he does. Oh, so Shaw, where are you? Yeah, he's got a fucking sign. Oh, you dick. Bye, Chicago. But they got him on the block. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you know what? He's on the block, so there we go. And it's actually not a bad deal. That's that's similar to what I would want to sign him for. You know what? Actually, Chicago may have done us a bit of a favor. Now it'll cost an asset, but we got we got some asset. We got we picked up how many freaking trash goaltenders? <laughs> Maybe I can combine all of them for him. Doubt it, but it might be worth a, a look. So that, and then Furland is Vancouver. I, you know what? I was thinking Vancouver. I'm like, did he really? Am I, why am I thinking Vancouver? Okay. I was like, for some reason, I knew it was a shit team. Furlan on Vancouver. Yeah. So that one might be more difficult to trade for. We'll see if he's on the block, actually, though. He is not. So yeah, that'll be a bit more difficult to trade for. But we could use Mantha or something for that deal. And get, an, get a pick back and maybe even trade another guy for a pick and all that kind of good stuff. But there we go. That's gonna then we're gonna have a set third line grinder line when we get Shaw, Furland, Wilson, and then we'll have our fourth line grinder line still with Giovanni Smith, um, Twarinski, ooh, Zach McEwen, and uh, Kara. So that'll be what we're gonna go with. Then we're gonna have that second line still with Getzlaff in there, who isn't great. In fact. I don't think there'll be another center power forward because who the hell is a center? Oh, fuck. No, he's tendered. <laughs> he's tendered. Theoretically, I was like, oh, you should have checked this first, but, you know, there's just very, very few center power forwards. Again, I mean, kind of what, we, what we'd need him to be was a power forward like who could score goals the way it was trending. Either way, not in the cards here. You could always, tr you could always make one of a, a power forward winger who gets drafted in the top five into a center. That's that's completely because they usually all have decent face-offs. That's just kind of how those guys in the top five are built. If they're forwards, they usually will have decent face-offs. They'll carry around an 80 by the time they're fully developed, maybe higher. Uh, so, yeah, that's always a thing. Anyway, um, those are the main things that we have to do. Also, potential extensions here. We're going to make be, be making those trades. I don't think we... Okay, Clefbaum might want to keep him around. What? Bouchard doesn't want an extension. That's not good. Kulikov does. That's half, Hathaway does. I could actually use him as the main guy now instead of uh, Twarinski and use Twarinski as the fourth line depth. Because Hathaway is actually slightly better. Yeah, Twarinski could be the fourth line depth now. Butte. All right. Well, no major extensions in by the look of it. Looks of it. Bouchard, I have to keep checking on him. I mean, I could extend Clef Bomb here. That's not a terrible contract, but I'm a, I'm not too sure. I mean, we, he's only 84. Like that. Well, that's not bad. It's also not great. I'm kind of curious if. But oh man, he loves the the second line. That's the thing. He loves that second line. I'll still, I, I, I'll have to think about that. You guys can chime in on that if you think we should go for Clef Bomb. But hilariously, we don't have to pick anything up in free agency. We got to make some trades. We got to shed Mantha and Antanasiu. We got rid of Ennis. And we weren't able to trade him at the draft, but we couldn't target anything great anyway. So we're going to use one of them to help target Furland. And then maybe even package them both together under that team and pick up some picks. But if we do that, Vancouver might be just too good. So I'd kind of rather want... Well, all the picks are going to be kind of sky high anyway. Yeah, this might be a bit more difficult. We'll see. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. That was kind of a quick draft. We did trade away a pick. We didn't even use a lot of picks. And it's that, yeah, it was a really shit draft, all things considered. Moving up didn't make sense. And uh, couldn't find Furlan because my brain decided not to work. But that will wrap things up, guys. Uh, shorter.
video than for our usual draft one. Anyway, let me know what you thought. Hit that like button, and I'll see you in the next one.